Hello everybody, my name is Gladys. Today we're playing some more Arma. Uh, this day, today, we are we are in a shopper and I'm going to show you some basic things uh, what to do and what not to do uh, when your tail roller fails. Uh, so this is going to be a series of where I simulate shopper crashes and uh, I try and get out of them. So uh, here we go. So we've got two types of tail roller failures. We've got the ones where you are landed and you still need to get out of there. Or when you are hovering and the tail roller breaks. Or uh, when you are moving faster and the tail roller breaks. So those are the two big basic things. So moving and tail roller breaks or hovering or standing still when the tail roller breaks. I'm first going to show you uh, the first thing which is when you are landed and the tail roller breaks. So here we go, let me quickly uh, land myself over here and I'll show you what to do. So I've got this uh, really useful tool installed um, where I can just uh, simulate these problems and when something goes, goes wrong I can still uh, repair myself. So here we go, tail roller failure as you can see, the tail rotor stopped working. Now, when I'm going to create uh, lift to, uh, so when I'm going to generate lift with auto voice, create energy upwards, um, it is going to uh, rotate the tail. Uh, but because we've got no counter counter uh, weight or like we've got no counter energy, uh, we are just going to get in a spin. So the first thing you need to do is get up as high as you can just so you're not hitting anything. Once you're clear, um, you can start by uh, moving your shopper from back, from back. And now you just need to get enough speed, there you go, you've got enough speed then, and you're out of your spin. And basically when your shopper is going fast, uh, the all of the, the the wind or the aerodynamics uh, is going uh, on the sides of the uh, chopper and it's keeping the chopper flying straight. Um, so you can see these little wings on the end of the chopper, that's now helping us to fly straight. So we've recovered out of our, uh, out of our tail rotor damage. Uh, so what now? Well, what now is we need to get landed. But as you know, if we go slow, the problem will start occurring again and we will start getting back into our spin. So what we need to do is we need to land well when we still have forward momentum. So we're going to come down a little close to the ground already. We're going to start uh, losing speed. Um, so here we go. Getting close now. So now you can see that we already start rotating a little bit, rotating a little bit. So we quickly put ourselves down on the ground and we save ourselves. There we go. So now um, I'll show you uh, the other one, which can happen when you are uh, the other tail rotor damage when you're stationary. So right now we're just hovering, and then suddenly uh, we get hit by some enemy fire, and boom, tail rotor goes out and we start rotating again. Um, <coughs> so, the first thing you need to do, again, is get high. So, we get some a little bit more altitude. So just so we're clear from the ground. And then we start rocking again. Backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, and if you see that you are not getting enough speed, just repeat backwards and forward. So now, um, what's happening now is we created a sideways lift, which is not that not that good because now, as you can see, we cannot really recover from this. So what we need to do is just put ourselves a little bit more like this. Don't get too close to the ground. Remember. So we need to put ourselves sideways, sideways. But don't don't get too close to that ground, yeah. Okay, here we go. And we are back into our uh, into our little spin here. So um, 
the thing you do not want to happen is this sideways this, this moving sideways so just go to the other side and stop moving sideways it's the worst thing that can happen so now we go back into a rocker motion and there we go got enough speed now um, the wind is going to the side of the chopper which is keeping it straight and now we just need to find a, a safe spot to land we need to get close to the ground real quickly and then we need to lead our speed but we need to stay close to the ground so we can touch it down when the spin is going to happen again there we go slowing down quite a bit now just when the thing when the you see the rotating is starting to happen again just put it on there we go that's a, that's um that's number one of the tail rotor damages second one is when you're moving when you're moving um, you've got a tail rotor damage and it is really easy to recover from that uh, it's basically uh, the previous one you could divide into two steps one is recovering from the tail rotor, two is landing or uh, recovering from a spin when you're flying you won't get a spin because you already have forward momentum and the wind is already going to the sides of the shop so um, let me show you let me fly straight here there we go it's not just and the tail rotor damage and as you can see I'm still just flying forward nothing has happened so the thing we want to do now is put ourselves to the ground um, so we just get low again start bleeding that speed um, I like bleeding speed while like drifting a little bit to the sideways and backwards I think that's the best way and I'm also the holding on uh, Z to go down so here we go we're getting slow again so just quickly ditch down there we go that's everything now you know how to recall from a tempo so let's repair that and uh, yeah there you go. If you've got any more questions about the tail rotor damage, um, make sure you post it in the uh, comments below. Um, this, these techniques go for every shopper. Although some shoppers can have a little bit of a harder time while rocking, um, they will recover all the distance eventually. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this quick video on how to. Uh, how to survive the tail rotor damage and I'll see you in the next crash. Bye!